Alright, hello fun and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Crib mod which is being made by user Eleonora. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely little player home with an aesthetic that's described by the mod maker as murder hobo chic. And that is... Wonderful. And frankly, I always love seeing a player home made by Eleonora. I absolutely adore them. They're always a great, usable little homes that are beautifully decorated. And I can't wait to show this one to you here today. Now, as for where you need to go to get yourself access to uh, the crib, you actually got options there. There are two different downloads on the mod page, one which will place the crib just southwest of Bunker Hill, and another download which will place the crib in Nuka World just outside the Cola Cars Arena. Now for this one here, I've chosen the one by Bunker Hill, and just around the corner, you'll find a lovely red door heading into the crib, which does also have its own map marker, as you can see here, and you get the same map marker at Nuka World as well, so it's quite easy to find once again in Fast Travel 2. And once you enter inside, no matter if it's from Bunker Hill or Nuka World, you're going to come into the same small space where you're greeted by your lovely bedroom. And I just, I love the look of everything in here. The mannequins with the skulls, the gnome being hung. For some reason, there's lots of teddy bears around. It's just weird. And I love it. Now, just to the right of uh, the bedroom is your small little kitchen area with a good deal of storage and the one singular crafting table that you do have in this whole thing. Now, if you turn a bit more to the right, you have the main storage area where you've got a load of different storage containers as well as various shelves. And then if you head back to the door to the left side of the bed, you have a simple little bathroom with a functioning water faucet if you are in a survival game that can help hydrate you, which is always nice. But yeah, as you can see, it is a very, very tiny home. But like with all of Eleonora's creations, it's just so packed with wonderful details. I absolutely love how this stuff gets decorated. Just look at all the clutter objects everywhere, just making it look good. You got this weird little area back here with just all sorts of strange tortured mannequins. It's just very Raider-esque. And again, I just, I just love that phrase that uh, Eleonora uses on the mod page of murder hobo chic. It's fitting and wonderful. Money well, yes, uh, as for in the bedroom area, it is a, of course, functioning bed for you to sleep in and get well rested. Now, there's not really all that much storage in the bedroom area, except for this magazine rack here and this one here. And, of course, the two armor racks that we do have on either side of the door. Now, once you do move into the kitchen space, over here is where the bulk of your storage is. You got a duffel bag, a small chest, an ammo box, and a large dress here as well as a robot model display shelving as uh, also the bobblehead shelf there and moving around the corner we've got another locker a just awesome little treasure chest which I have a odd amount of fascination with I just love this little thing a small safe as well as a box for your comic books and magazines and an explosive container we then also do have a Nuka-Cola display shelf, a cooler, a Vim crate, a Nuka crate, and it's just great. All the little bits and bobs of storage around. Now, as I said, this is the one area with a crafting station being a cooking stove. I do love this custom little cooking stove. It's great. It's just like a little camping uh, stove here and works just fine as you would hope and expect. I was really hoping we might find something like this custom one for the other things like armor and weapons, but sadly that's not really the case. But if we do, of course, head down over here into the bathroom zone, we do have some first aid storage, lots of lovely shelving with just clutter objects, an unusable scale, a large toolbox, 
our sink for drinking, and finally, a mirror for a little bit of extra storage. All in all, it's just a great little home. And I, I always love these sorts of tiny player homes because they make a great location, especially if you are in a survival mode for the game, for you to just stop by in the Commonwealth, get a good night's sleep, cook up some food, store a few things here and there, and then be on your way. You're not going to be setting up shop and customizing it because, of course, it is not a workshop space. You're dealing with just what you get here. You also can't send, like, settlers here or anything along those lines. It's just a nice place for you to come and rest your head and take away from the worries of the outside world for at least a little bit. So yes, if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, with I search, uh, which I would certainly recommend you go and do. There we go. I swear I can speak most of the time. Uh, you can check out the link in the description as per usual. Check this one out. It's pretty awesome. And I actually especially love adding the additional player home to uh, Nuke World because, you know, it may take you a little while to get everything else you want out of the main player home there and it's just a nice little place to get a bit of respite so do check it out have fun with it hope you all have enjoyed this episode today and you come back for the next but until that time uh thank you for watching and as always have a good one